a ruling finds that Kelly Clarkson's ex-husband owes her $2.6 million for engaging in illicit transactions. In the court case against her ex-husband, Kelly Clarkson has won a significant battle, several media outlets said on Thursday. After seven years of dating, the Since You've Been Gone singer filed for divorce from Brandon Blackstock in 2020. However, by then, a California labor commissioner had ordered him to pay Clarkson $2,641,374 because he had undertaken a number of illegal business transactions on her behalf. When Blackstock got Clarkson deals with The Voice, Norwegian Cruise Line, Wayfair, and the Billboard Music Awards, he was her manager. According to documents the media was able to get, he received millions of dollars in commissions that were never legally his. A manager cannot obtain or attempt to obtain work for artists under the Talent Agencies Act, just like any other individual without a talent agency license, according to a section of the decision that People published, citing a state statute. According to the filings, Blackstock made $1,983,155.70 in from a Clarkson contract with The Voice, $208,125 from a cruise line agreement, $450,000 from a Wayfair partnership, and $93.30 from a multi-year Billboard Music Awards hosting contract. Blackstock also benefited from a contract for Clarkson's talk program, according to a filing she made. But the labor commissioner decided that this specific transaction was legal. But the Creative Artists Agency should have had agents handling the other four. Blackstock has filed an appeal of the commissioner's decision. According to Clarkson, she got to know Blackstock who was then the tour manager for Rascal Flats at an Academy of Country Music Awards rehearsal in 2006. After getting engaged in 2012, they are parents to two kids, 9-year-old daughter River Rose and 7-year-old son Remington Alexander.